Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this week we're taking a look at this Star Wars Power Pack box exclusive to GameStop and EB Games. So this is out of 5,000. I have number 3,624. Now quickly just looking at the box, it's all a nice glossy black with the Star Wars logo on it and a long time ago in a galaxy far away written on the front. Inside we'll take a look at the three items and again it comes with a very nice box There's some protective covering on top as well as the certificate of authenticity This document certifies that the medallion of Yavin Darth Vader melted helmet pin and projectile dart pin with gauntlet holder are pieces Inspired by the props from Star Wars universe. This is an officially licensed Star Wars jewelry collection manufactured by sales one LLC and then again looking at the three pieces you can see these holes here are the only detractor for the display box but that was used with um, heavy duty twist ties to hold down the pieces I guess for uh, shipping and moving the box around but I've taken them off now because they're going to be displayed in my game room. The first piece we'll take a look at is a ceramic magnetic melted Darth Vader helmet. Now this is I guess the one from The Force Awakens when we see Kylo Ren talking to his grandfather Darth Vader. Now the replica or the heavy duty magneted uh, ceramic face is very cool. Like I said it's going to stay in the, the display box for me but you could put it on the fridge or something else that it would stay magnetized to. The second is the Medal of Yavin. This was presented to Luke and Han Solo at the end of A New Hope. And then Chewbacca finally got his in the Rise of Skywalker, although it was actually Han Solo's medal that he received. The medal itself has good weight to it, and then the material used to drape around your neck when being presented. Uh, it's fairly long, so I'm pretty sure anyone could wear it, even a Wookiee. And the final piece, the one that actually sold me when I saw it in stores, is the projectile dart pin and gauntlet holder used by Boba Fett. Very clean, it looks like it's new, no quote unquote battle damage to make it look more uh, movie or Mandalorian TV show authentic, but still a very nice piece. This would look great in the box or outside of it. The pin missile is detachable, it's held together by magnets. I guess the only gripe I'd have about it is it's not very wide and there's no attachments. I would have liked some kind of velcro loops on the back so that you could actually wear it. But then again, it is fairly heavy as well. Just quickly, I want to show you as well, um, when you take out the foam padding of the box, it has a nice little write-up for the three items, for the pin missile, for the melted helmet, and for the metal. And you also got this awesome Star Wars where you're just hitting light speed and you're going off to a new planet. And that's going to do it for this collector's edition Star Wars box, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, throw me a like. And if you're new to the channel, you know, maybe consider subscribing. I do a lot of video game stuff and toy-related things like this. Until next time, guys, take care and may the Force be with you.